What's going on RV guards? This is Cam Hillier from Miller's RV in Baton Rouge and I'm standing in front of the 2023 Winnebago Voyage 3538BR. Okay, so before I jump into this really cool Winnebago floor plan, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on your, no your post notifications so you can stay up with all the latest and greatest of the RV world. Um, yeah. Without further ado, so this is the 3538BR Winnebago Voyage. This is the biggest Voyage floor plan that they make. And honestly, one of the most versatile. It's a really, really cool floor plan. You've got opposing slides in your living room. You've got a bunk room in the back. Uh, it's really laid out really well. Now, Winnebago redesigned their interior on the Voyages for the 2023. So to my knowledge, this will be the first one that we've done with this new interior. So. They brought it to the Tampa RV show. That was this past weekend. Um, and just from putting out different feeler groups and stuff like that, they've gotten some really good feedback on this new interior. It's lighter, it's open, very warm and welcoming. So I think you're really, really gonna like it. So before we head to the inside of the trailer, I wanna point out a couple of features that I love on the outside of the trailer. Okay, so I know the audio might sound kind of funny today. It's a freezing cold Louisiana, 45 degree. Uh, day so <laughs> if you've never been to Louisiana on 45 degrees we're not like just sissies since all the the humidity that we have in the air it actually is like it's it feels colder than 45 like I would take 10 degrees in Colorado over 45 degrees here any day side the point so you might hear a little bit of wind noise but stick around this video is gonna be worth it so up front we've got our docking lights here so you can see from this angle and maybe the previous angle LEDs all over the place on this people love the aesthetic of it it's amazing how many customers are like I gotta have the LEDs I gotta have them. so we've got the three docking lights here we've got our lights for our awning here now you'll notice here in just a sec we'll get a little closer but this actually has two awnings so normally whenever you have uh, a slide on your entry door side you're gonna lose that awning space. Now on this one, you can even see your awning has to be made shorter. Now usually that's all they give you, that's short awning. What Winnebago did is you've got the, the primary awning that's here, and then you've got an awning that's actually on the extension of the slide. So still have tons of covered outdoor space, and again, those nice LED lights to set the mood. Now behind me, we've got our pass-through storage here. The Voyage does a great job of giving you big time outdoor storage. You've only got this one compartment, sure, but it's big and open. You can fit really whatever you want in there. So a lot of times with a travel trailer, exterior storage is major. It's lacking. You know, even in even in the other Winnebago's, Winnebago does a good, good job making it open where it's not just like a really small space. But the Voyage, I think they went above and beyond. Now this is pretty much the same on most of the Voyage floor plans. A big storage here. You can see the aluminum structure underneath. It's not like that cheap wood framing like you have on you know 90% of the other trailers on the market. So I love the pass-through storage here. You've got lights in there as well, so you know it can help you if you're unloading at night. Now, we've also got our BAL 5.1 leveling system, or stabilizing system rather. So these aren't meant to level, meant to stabilize, keep you from rocking back and forth. So you've got all your controls on the tongue jack itself. So I pointed out in some of the other Winnebago travel trailer videos that Winnebago will give you individual switches for your uh, stabilizer, stabilizer jacks. So they still have that, but instead of being located on the outside, they're actually located at the tongue jack. So from the tongue jack, you can raise and lower the tongue. You can raise and lower all your stabilizer jacks. You can do them one at a time, or you can actually do them all at once. So that's really, really convenient. You never have to search for it. Those buttons are right there for you. Now, uh, I don't remember if I mentioned, we've got two 30 gallon propane tanks here. So 60 gallons of propane. So that's gonna be great for your hot water heater, furnace, excuse me, and then the X door, uh, I'm sorry, exterior burners that you have as well. Now you've also got the electric hot water heater. We'll talk a little bit more about that inside, but plenty of propane if you need it. So now we're gonna move to the outdoor kitchen area and we're gonna touch upon the second awning that you have on the slide. So we're not gonna spend too much time on this, but this is the uh, your entry door side slide. So this was the awning that I was telling you about. So you don't just have like a small awning that's here and that's it. You've got the awning that's there and then you've got your second awning here. So tons of covered outdoor space. I love that feature. Now we're gonna to touch on the outdoor kitchen that they have in the back. So right now I am underneath this little, actually that's, a, I didn't think about that. I'm underneath the door for the outdoor kitchen area. I had, this hadn't even crossed my mind. This, since you don't have your awning space under this, you've got your awning that's on the outside of the slide and then the awning that we just talked about on the front of the slide, or the, uh, the front of the trailer. 
this base is not covered, but actually that, yeah, of course, that makes sense. So this is actually great cover for if you're back here using, you've got a, a graystone grill here. So right now, uh, we literally just got this thing in. So it looks like on the way down, it might've come off the hinges. So I'm not able to show you that right now, but got the graystone grill here. You've got your external sink. And then you even got your mini fridge here. So you can literally do all the cooking here with no problem. You don't have to go inside to go get a drink or go inside to get the chicken. You've already got it getting cool in here. You also got cabinet space in here, which I always love. Extra storage, the more the merrier. Um, and then you might be able to see too, we've got the outside of our hot water panel here. Um, yeah, I really love this outdoor kitchen area. A lot of times you get like half of a kitchen area where you have a grill and then sometimes a sink. This, you've got the full nine yard. And I mean, you've got the the mini fridge, the shelving, the cabinets, the sink, and the burner. So I, I really love this outdoor kitchen area. Big thumbs up on the Vega. So let's go check out the inside. That's where the real highlights lie on this thing. So yeah, we're just walking in the interior of this 3538BR. And this is stunning. I mean, the, the light countertops, I really, or the light cabinets and, and white countertops, I really love. Now, there's something that it's gonna be a little bit difficult for you to tell quite what the color of this is but it's a very it's like a dark blue color on the lower cabinets and the lower island so i am a huge fan of this i've got actually I have this at my house on our island um but if you ever watched like fixer upper with chip and joanna Gaines, they like to do that a lot of times like instead of just putting like a black or a wood finish on the lower end you add some color to it, it just kind of ties everything in it makes it all feel a little less uniform and it makes it feel fun fun and homey so we really like that um so we're gonna go ahead and check out the living and kitchen area of this, and then we're gonna move on to show you the rest of this trailer. Okay, so now in the kitchen area, I am standing behind the built-in island here. So you can see it's very roomy. I've got tons of space in here to prepare food, to entertain, do whatever you wanna do when you're camping. Now this fridge is awesome. So 12 volt fridge, you've watched my videos, you know I'm a huge fan of 12 volt fridges. And this has your two doors here, 15 cubic foot, tons of space. And then below, You've got an ice maker and you've got the drawer where you can put like your little popsicles and dinosaur chicken nuggets and stuff that I know y'all love. <laughs> so we've also got a real pantry here. So this is nice instead of just having one of those like pull out spice cabinets or turning one of one of these cabinets or drawers into um, into your pantry, you actually have real pantry space here and, and a good bit of storage as well. So we've got our little, uh, I, I maybe use this as like a coffee bar or something with your wireless charger there. You've got plugs up top. And then also, uh, I forgot to actually point, you've got plugs that are up here as well. So sometimes you, you might look down low and it's kind of an eyesore if you have, sorry, it's kind of an eyesore if you have your plugs down low there. And usually they build these little covers around them so they don't look that appealing. In Winnebago, you've got your, your plugs nice and tucked up here and here. Uh, so I really love this fridge. I just love the whole feel of the kitchen. I love that it's roomy. I love that there's tons of countertop space. And even there, there's some over there to the left of the recliners that I forgot to mention. Now, I'm going to walk over here a second to this entertainment center so you can check this out. I love this. Very homey feel. Okay, so now I'm just a little bit scooched over to right in front of the entertainment center. Area. So we've got a smart TV here. We've got JBL audio in the interior and exterior of this trailer. So it's not that those fuzzy, junky speakers that comes in most shows. It's actual JBL, so very high quality sound. Um, and I forgot to mention too, that this built-in island, not only do you have the built-in sink, big sink, you've got all the storage in the pantry and all the cabinets up here. On the island, you've got four pull-out drawers and, and two big cabinet doors, so you can still get tons of storage with this and plugs on either side as well. So very, very convenient for that. But yeah, back to this, I, I really just have to commend Winnebago on this. I love the light interior. I think the interior of the years past, has been a little lacking in like the poppy area. I don't think it's been really, really appealing like this is, but I really love this. I mean, it, the quality is great. The the aesthetics of it is fantastic. I, I'm really just a fan of this. It feels very homey. It doesn't feel like a trailer. It feels very homey. One last thing before we move on. How could I forget to mention this fireplace? So, like I talked about earlier, it is 45 degrees here in Louisiana, and that is like colder than what y'all give us credit for. But in most of the cold weather in the south where like you're not really using your, your furnace now you've got a 30,000 BTU furnace on this so plenty enough to heat this space in no time at all um, but on days where it's not as cold it's just maybe you know there's a little draft near something like that you can use this electric fireplace and it does a fantastic job heating this whole living area it does a really good job you can also change different colors through it I mean 
you can cycle through blue and red and blue and just red, hot, cold, whatever you want. So it, it's really aesthetically pleasing, but it actually does put out a good bit of heat too. Um, so moving on to our recliners, a little, little bar area here and the dine out. Let's check those. Okay, so now we've flipped a little bit. I'm in, uh, so, so I'm still across from the entertainment center. Uh, so we've got our recliners here. So these both recline. They lay pretty flat, so you can take a nice nap if you want. I probably wouldn't sleep in it. But we've also got uh, a little area here. You could use this as like a bar area if you want to take this tailgating. Or I found that a lot of customers in the past who bought this floor plan have liked this area to like charge their devices. Um, basically just keep stuff nice and charged but also out of the way. Because hopefully, you know, if we're camping, we're not just staying on our devices. But it's a place where you can keep your stuff charged or even just extra pantry storage if you need it right there. Really, you can use this whatever you want, but you've got also got cabinets below, I'm sorry, above and below this, so more storage there. Um, now this side, the recliners that I touched on, really, really comfy. We've got our four big windows in this slide. We've got 110 plug on that side with a 12 volt behind it, and then 110 and the 12 volt USB below this side as well. So I really love that. You can charge everything you want at the end of the day camp and you can come back here put on Forrest Gump, kick your feet up, and be good. All right, so checked out the recliners across from the TV here. Let's check out the dinette. Okay, so now I'm in front of the dinette here. So as I mentioned earlier, this either has uh, an option of getting the freestanding table uh, with the just four chairs with it, or you can get the dinette. We opted for the dinette on this one um, because you can get extra sleeping area here. But again, light colored cushions, so I really like that. And this, you're not gonna stain this. It's, I don't know what the material of this is, but you can wipe it off very easily. So that's not gonna stain to it. Now, speaking of like staining and different things like that, people nowadays don't want carpet. You, a lot of you don't want carpet in your house, definitely don't want carpet in your RV. So what this material is, it seems almost like a marine grade material. It's not carpet. I, I can't quite tell you what it is. It's a woven material that this is not going to stain. I mean, I can just tell by it. You can get mud on it. The dogs can get on it. It's not going to stain this. You can just wipe it right off with no problem. So I, I don't know what that material is. I'll have to do some more research for y'all, but that is really impressive. I like that. Okay, so before we wrap up our, our kitchen living area, how can I not point out this awesome feature? Modern, cool, just cool. Honestly, I like it. It supplies great light and it looks really good. So. Now we're gonna actually head to the back of the trailer and let's check out the bunk room. Okay, so I'm in the bunk room now of this 3538BR. That's where BR comes from. Sometimes the letters mean something, sometimes they don't. This time we're talking the bunk room. So we've got one bunk here. This we can fold up and actually use this for with extra headroom or you can hang, you can put like a curtain rod and hang things here if you need extra hanging space. Um, and then we've got a comfortable couch here. So like, let's say we put this up this actually is pre-wired for a TV, so we can hook up a TV here. Um, on one of those rainy days, the kids can play video games in here or something like that. Um, but yeah, we just raised this. So like I said, you can use that as curtain rod for clothes. You can just get it out of the way of the kids for here. Now, benefit of this couch is not only is it just a couch, it will actually pull out into a sleeper. So you could sleep too on this couch with no problem. Uh, so I really like that. It expands the sleeping here since like your standard bunk room will have bunk, bunk, and then bunk bunk so it'll have essentially like four bunks whereas this you've got the one bunk here you've got like a full size bed there so i would say this is eh, maybe a fuller twin there so good size bunk there and then you've got storage below this so instead of having only one sleep here so you can only have three this will sleep too so four here you've got another one to two you can sleep on the dinette and then two in the front bedroom so yeah i mean to really just touch on this bunk room it's got really everything you need. Like I said, pre-wired for a TV. So you can put a TV in here if you need it for those rainy days. You've got tons of cabinet space. I like that. Good space for drawers. You even got what looks like like some shoe cubbies there. Shoe cubbies that could also double as a, a ladder to get up to this top bunk. Now since you have a ducted AC in this, now we've got two AC units. We've got a 15,000 BTU ducted and we've got a 13.5 as well. So since it's ducted AC, you've got two air vents that are gonna blow in here and help cool this. You've also got a fan that's here, a 12 volt power fan that's gonna help cool this down on really warm days. So I like that. I like the natural light in this too. The, the, really this whole trailer has done a good job of uh, basically making you not feel claustrophobic. The light colors and natural light combined together to make something really special. So window up here, window down there, a window on this side of the bunk, and then you've actually got a window there as well. So I really like this bunk room and what's cool about it is if you know the kids left things messy or let's just say that for some reason you didn't need it or or if 
if you didn't even have kids and you want to use this as storage, well, you can use this as storage, and then you have a sliding door there where you can close this off so you can still entertain up there and nobody has to see all the mess that you have in here. So I really like that feature of it. All in all, this bunk room is great. So we're going to close this up with our main bedroom in the front. Let's check that out. Okay, so I said we were going to go to the bedroom, but I actually want to touch on the bathroom before we do that. So in our bathroom, we've got a nice big size mirror here. Now you've got the uh, a little like medicine cabinet to the right of the mirror. So I like that it's there because it's you've got kind of like a 45 degree angle for that wall. So I like that it's there so it's nowhere in the way of like worrying about hitting your head when you're brushing your teeth or it's not here making you kind of feel claustrophobic. I like that there's that 45 degree angle there to make this just kind of tuck a cabinet into that spot. So we've also got storage here for towels, toilet paper, whatever you may have it. Very, very nice shower here. So good size shower with the plexiglass shower door. Now I have not seen this in any of the previous years, but this is a, a really heavy duty little contraption that holds that door shut. I know a lot of people, I guess I shouldn't say a lot. I know it is common for people to, for the doors to come unlatched while driving. Now usually they don't break. We've definitely seen some people have doors come un unlatched while going down the road and breaking. So with this thing, I don't see any way that that's gonna come unlatched. I mean, this is heavy duty. I really, really like that. Um, so, but yeah, so whenever this closes, so nice three piece there. This looks up there. Yeah, I really like that. And also in the shower too, you've got three different shelves where you can store your soaps and good stuff like that. So you don't have to just set it on the floor like in Jeff to do in a lot of RV showers. And also for the toilet. So this is a porcelain toilet. Now you've got a plastic toilet seat, pretty standard, but not the plastic toilet. So heavy duty toilet. I know a lot of people are gonna enjoy that. Um, and I, actually, I forgot to mention too. So you've got more cabinet storage down here. Yeah, I really love this thing. A vent in this too, 12 volt vent. Um, sliding door as well. Really, really nice size bathroom here. So let's close this out with the main bedroom. Okay, so we're in the master bedroom now. So above me, I've got the 13.5 BCU BTU uh, air conditioning unit here. We do not have a TV in here currently. We you can get order it with that option. We order it without it just because sometimes people don't really need that second TV or maybe it feels a little too much in the bedroom. Um, but if you want to, you can put it to the stud here. It's already pre-wired for it, no problem. Now I've got a king size bed here. They come standard the voyages with the queen. We upgrade all ours with the king bed. So big time king bed here. You've got an area above we can put like a like a I guess you could actually put blankets and stuff there and if you have a CPAP you can actually put the CPAP behind this so we'll, we'll show you that but you can actually fit a CPAP there devices drinks uh, really whatever you want whatever you like to have close to you whenever you're sleeping you can put there or one of the little nightstands that's on either side so hanging space on either side of the bed and then tons of hanging space in this front closet here now the benefit of this model and also the 32 30, uh, 3235 rl winnebago voyage both pre-wired for a washer dryer now not a washer dryer combo you sure you can put that but this you can actually if you take out the top little shelving here you have enough room for the dryer or the short dryer and the rv washer so fantastic that you can put that here but if you don't want it you can continue to use this closet space either way is great now you've got even more storage in this thing with the underneath you've got actually of your the underneath of your bed so you've got tons of storage underneath the king bed um, and then you've got lighting really all around this thing 110 plug and usb plug on either side too so really really convenient um, I, I i love this floor plan it's big it's definitely big you know like i said the 35 38 full length is including tongue 38 feet 11 inches so we're talking basically a 39 footer um i'm really a big fan of this floor plan if you've got something that can tow it it's going to be gvwr is probably going to be right around uh, 11 12 000. um so you need a good size truck to tow it you know three quarter ton can tow it some of the half tons can tow it but if you can tow this thing it's awesome it's got everything you need so we're going to hop back in the living room and close this out so yeah, we're back in the living room kitchen area of this Winnebago. So this is the 2023 Voyage 3538BR. I love this floor plan. So quick little highlights of this. We've got our uh, electric fireplace here. We've got a smart TV. We've got a bunk room, slide in the bunk room. There's tons of natural light in there. A big time upgrade in the interior for the Voyages this year. So this floor plan, you get the benefit of a rear living floor plan with your opposing slides here. 
but you also have all the added storage and sleeping capacity of a bunk room because you have that in the back. So totally you can sleep about seven in this, um, seven or eight depending on how you want to squeeze. I really love this thing. So we've got tons of cabinet storage above, we've got drawers beneath, so we've got tons of space where you can bring everything that you want with you. 15 cubic foot between your fridge and your freezer here, so tons of space for that. Now not only is it equipped to handle a long trip on what's in the inside, also what's underneath. So it's the same with all one of Bakers, you've got a heated and enclosed underbelly, so a true four seasons trailer. And also you've got 60 gallons of fresh water in this, your black and gray tanks are going to be about 49 gallons each. So tons of capability to, to take this thing on a weekend trip, or if you want to go do a two, three week trip, you're going to absolutely love it. No problem either way. So we appreciate y'all stopping by. Please do come again. Don't forget, turn on those notifications, post notifications to keep up with us guys. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer. And if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the journey.